Failing repeatedly at something shouldn't be the reason why you should become a failure in life. Indeed, your ability to rise again after a fall might go a long way to reshape your life. This is Albert Einstein's story, the once upon a time dull students whom his teachers never considered a potential talk less of making an impact the world will keep on mentioning. Today's edition is about Albert Einstein, who was in Ulm, Württemberg, Kingdom of the German Empire. Born to Pauline Koch and Hermann Einstein, he received his primary and secondary education in Leupold Gymnasium. Although his father wanted him to study electrical engineering, he was interested somewhere else, especially after he clashed with school authorities over the teaching method. He moved to Italy, where he wrote a short essay titled On the Investigation of the State of Ether in a Magnetic Field, and began to excel in the field of mathematics and physics at the age of 12. His progress became advanced when he developed an interest in philosophy and music. His exposure to Immanuel Kant would later ignite interest to explore further. Albert Einstein did have challenges that nearly damaged his confidence and abilities. Despite graduating at the age of 21 from the Swiss Polytechnic Institute, he struggled for employment, and his reputation as a terrible student made it far worse. His teachers never took him seriously. He was frustrated to the point of nearly dropping from school and took many odd jobs for survival. However, the greatest pain to him was that his father died, believing he was a total failure, which discouraged him for a long time. People who are destined for greatness are mostly faced with a test of giving up, but the ability to fight on and triumph over what life limits them to is what makes them genius. To know more about Eureka's moments and motivating stories like this, Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop new videos. At the age of 12, he discovered an original proof for Pythagorean theorem, which made his family tutor buy him a geometry book. Also, he was already teaching calculus, and by age 14, he had mastered integral and differential calculus. His amazing year began in 1905 when he published four groundbreaking papers, Brownian motion, photoelectric effect, special relativity, and the equivalence of mass and energy. These papers announced his entry into the academic world at the age of 26. Building on his academic success, he made some calculations that led to his general relativity theory in 1911, which established light from another star being bent by the sun's gravity. After confirmation by Sir Arthur Eddington during the solar eclipse on the 29th of May, 1919, and international media publications about it, he became famous worldwide. This invention led to the abolition of Isaac Newton's ideas. His efforts landed him a Nobel Prize in physics in 1921, and he was awarded the Copley Medal from the Royal Society in 1925. Einstein has been credited for providing empirical evidence for the atomic bomb in his published paper titled Bronian Motion, which discussed particles' random motion and fluid. His explanation in this paper confirmed the existence of atoms and molecules. It even led to the atomic bomb's invention. His other achievements include determining Avogadro's number, size of molecules, solving the riddle of photoelectric effect, which many scientists have tried for years but failed to solve, and many more. Albert Einstein's role towards the development of humanity will forever be in the history book for a long time. No wonder he was tagged as the father of the atomic bomb and founder of relativity theory. He will forever be in the hearts and minds of scientists who specialized in physics and mathematics. Do you know that Lamborghini was a tractor manufacturing company? Nike didn't start with its own shoe? And Lego made wooden toys? To know their stories, click on the playlist. And for the latest videos, do subscribe, and like and share.